do you have a love affair with post-its? I mean, like, using post-its to plan everything in your life. Having post-its everywhere, even on my kids, was not helping me streamline my business processes. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I took all of my post-its and put it into my project management system, Trello. Be sure you stick around to find out how you can start using Trello for your business. Hey guys, my name is Trina, if you are new here, and welcome to another episode of Just The Tips. I'm posting new videos every week on this channel to help you use video in YouTube in your business strategy. And in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through a Trello tutorial. So if you're brand new to Trello, I'm gonna show you how you can get started and how I use Trello to be more productive in my business. So instead of just telling you about it, I'm gonna jump over to my computer and walk you through through how I set up cards, lists, checklists, and keep everything organized within Trello. So the first place you'll want to go is obviously to Trello.com. I'll leave the link down in the description box below. But this is a general overview of all your different boards. And you want to think of boards as like categories. So I have one of my services, my four hour intensive. Um, this is another YouTube channel that I have, my mom channel. My YouTube channel audit is another service that I have. My week, um, my editorial calendar, those types of things. And so I'm gonna dive in a little deeper into these boards here with you. You can also have group boards. So I have clients who also share my boards. So they can go in here, they can add their video ideas, I can comment on them. They can move their video through the process through different lists. So Trello really works whether you're a product-based business, service-based business, it's just good all around. So I'm gonna go into the board that I use the most, which is the My Week board. And this is basically how I know what I need to have done every single day. So if I think of something that I wanna do, I will basically dump it here in my monthly to-dos list so that I can see it and then I can place it into my day when I have time. Instead of, you know, writing a post-it, oh, I need to remember to do this, I will create a card and add the task. So let's say I want to update my website homepage. So I'll add that to my monthly to-dos. So now I have a card created. I can easily take this card and move it to say Tuesday. I don't have anything to do on Tuesday. Let me add it to Tuesday. How you create these lists up here, you want to go over to add a list and then type in the day if you want to set up your day. So just add Monday. And if it's over here, you can just grab it and move it to wherever you want to go. So you can set up your, your week just like this, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and so on. If you have a list and you wanna delete it, you can go to this little dots and archive this list. Now, if you prefer to organize your day by the time of day, say morning, afternoon, and evening, you can add a card, say AM, add. Now go into this card and give it a color so that you can color coordinate your tasks. So to give it a color, you will go over here to labels, say we'll make it green, and close out. Now you can move this to the top. So say Thursday morning, you wanna complete writing your services. And then in the afternoon, let's make this a color. So go to labels, make that yellow, you want to optimize your YouTube masterclass. Now, this is the next step that really will blow your mind. If you have a checklist of things you need to get done for your YouTube Live, you can go in here, create a checklist, say it's your YouTube Live Optimization Masterclass. Add a checklist. Now you can start adding your checklist for this course. So say I need to create a thumbnail. I need to optimize the video. I need to create a checklist. Send the email. Grab the link. Share on Facebook. And then as you go through all the different things that you need to do for that specific project, you can click. You can even go in here and go to attachments and add the thumbnail specific for this workshop that you're hosting so that you have it on record to grab easily if your computer is any type of a mess like mine is. 
So that's really what I love. You can also set a duty. So say this workshop is on August 31st at 12 p.m. You can go ahead and save it, and now you have a due date, and it's going to show right up here. It's due August 31st. Now say you mess up or you're done with this, you can always go into it and archive it. So it moves it. You can decide if you wanna delete it or not. It's up to you. And now that card is gone off of your to-do list. So this is basically how I've really used Trello to organize my day-to-day -day tasks for my business. So instead of having post-its everywhere, you know, I've got them right here. Another board that I'm gonna go ahead and show you is my YouTube calendar. So I will do a brain dump right here of all of my video ideas, and then I will go through all the different steps to get my video ready. And then I have it posted and I just keep track of, you know, optimization, where it's ranking. Another board that I have that I should do more often is meal planning. And this is great because I can get my grocery list started. I have breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, and dinner. You can also do your Business Blueprint. If you really want more on Business Blueprint and how to really take this to the next step, I would totally check out Think Creative Collective's course, Trello for Business. That's exactly where I got this template from. So let's say you wanna create a new board. So the way you create a board is you go up here to this plus, create a board, and let's say you're titling it Quarter Four Plan. Okay, so we create this. You can make it um, team visible or you can change it to private. Go ahead and create. Now, obviously we wanna make this look pretty, right? So you can change the background color if you want to a specific color or you can upload your own photos or you can choose Trello's photos that they already have. And Trello has some great photos. So I'm just gonna make this a beach scene, get inspired and motivated. This looks great. All you have to do is click it and now you have a background to your to your board. So for quarter four, let's say I wanna plan my content, my launches, my workshops, and my YouTube videos, okay? So now I have four lists. Now I'm gonna go in here and add a card. So say this is my blog content. Now my Facebook Live content, Instagram content, oops, so we're just focusing on these three. So I want to split these up into sections, I'm going to give this a color, let's just make this purple, um, for Facebook, Facebook is blue, so let's just make it blue. And for Instagram, we're gonna make this red, okay? So now I can start coming up with my ideas and then categorizing it with the card. So let's say Facebook Live, I wanna do three ways to grow your YouTube following. All right, so I have a card. I'm gonna move it up here right under the Facebook Live content. And so then maybe for this, I wanna do a checklist and I'm just gonna leave it as a checklist. And so for every Facebook Live, say you promote it, set up in B Live TV, send email, promote on Instagram, and say you create a graphic. Okay. So now you wanna use this checklist for every single Facebook Live that you do. You can go up here to your checklist, change the name of your checklist to Facebook Live Checklist, all right? So now it's saved. So say you come up with another Facebook Live idea. So you're gonna create that card. All right, now move it up to the Facebook Live section. Go into this card and you can add that checklist that you already created. So go up here to checklist and you can copy items from your Facebook Live checklist. Add it and there that exact checklist is in there. 
Trust me, this saves you so much time. Trello has been an amazing productivity tool in my business. If you have any questions about Trello, let me know down in the comment section below. And like I said, there will be a link for you to grab Trello. If there's a specific board or a breakdown or more videos you'd like to see on Trello, please let me know in the comment section below as well. I'm here to help you. If you're ready to start creating video content like this for your business, make sure you grab my YouTube channel checklist right here. It's gonna walk you through the 10 steps you need to make sure you do to your YouTube channel to ensure it is set up for success. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking that circle button right there. I'm posting new videos every single week to help you create a video strategy here on YouTube and for your business. If you like this video, be sure you share it by clicking any of those social media share buttons down below. You give it a thumbs up and you leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.